What is ANOVA? What is ANCOVA? When do we use them? What are important assumptions? Hi, my name is Fabian Fröse. In this video, I will answer these questions. Let me begin uh, with an example for ANOVA. You can see the pictures. You see a dog, a cat, a horse. A typical ANOVA question would be, are these animals all equally loyal to humans? Or a more specific question could be, which animal is more loyal than the other animals? After the example, now let me give you a formal definition. ANOVA, which stands for Analysis of Variance, is a statistical technique used to compare the means between several groups, two or more groups. The baseline hypothesis, H0, would be all means are statistically equal. And then H1 would be all means are not statistically equal, so meaning they're different. Thinking of the example from before, meaning the loyalty of dogs, cats and horses is not the same. One or two of these animals differs from uh, the others. There are different types of ANOVAs. There's the one-way ANOVA, where you compare the means among three or more independent groups. Uh, on the one side you have a continuous dependent variable, and on the other side you have a categorical independent variable, and uh, the categorical variable has at least three groups, or you could say you have three or more different groups. And then you have a two-way ANOVA, which is an extension of a one-way ANOVA. In contrast to the one-way ANOVA, you can have two categorical independent variables. The original purpose of ANOVA is to compare the means across uh, different groups and whether there is a difference. Sometimes we want to know a little more, we want to go a little deeper. And to do so, we can conduct additional tests. Yeah, we can uh, contrast these different groups and conduct various post hoc statistical tests. Now referring back to our example of these animals, dogs, cats and horse, maybe uh, there are differences in loyalty across these different pets. But we would like to know which of these pets is most loyal. And then we could conduct uh, these post hoc tests to find out. ANOVA can compare different means across groups. However, it cannot consider other variables that may play a role. To do so, we can conduct ANCOVA. Let me give you an example uh, for ANCOVA. Using the same example from before, we have dogs, cats and horses and loyalty. There's loyalty between these animals, but there might be also other variables that could explain loyalty. We can just think of maybe a care and a company. How much time do you spend with the pet? The more time you spend with the pet, the more loyal the pet would be to the human. Uh, and maybe even with one pet, which is not as loyal as the others, but you spend so much time together, so that pet become very attached and loyal to you. And so it's very important to consider these other variables. ANCOVA allows us to do so. Uh, we can add these confounding variables into our analysis. After the example, now let me give you a more formal definition. ANCOVA, or analysis of covariance, that combines the features of an ANOVA and regressions. So simultaneously, you can enter as independent variables, a categorical variable, so group, grouping variables, and continuous independent variables. It has the huge advantage yeah, that you can, ANCOVA can reduce uh, within group variance and can eliminate confounds, or what we call also omitted variance bias. There are certain assumptions for ANOVA and for ANCOVA. Only if uh, these assumptions are met, we can fully trust the results. Otherwise, we need to treat the results with cautions. If we have very large sample sizes, maybe violating some of the assumptions would still lead to fairly robust results. Okay, starting with first, the dependent variable and the covariate variable for COVA yeah, should be measured on a continuous scale, yeah, such as a mean value. Second, the independent variable, also the grouping variables, 
there should be two or more category independent groups and these groups should be independent from one another. And third same would hold for the observations. So each observation should be independent from the other observations. Fourth, there should be no major outliers because one outlier could strongly bias the research, results which are based on mean comparisons. And fifth, the dependent variable should be approximately normally distributed for each group. And similarly, six, the variances of each group, group should be roughly similar. So there should be homogeneity of variances across groups. And then uh, for the case of ANCOVA, the regression slopes, as I mentioned, ANCOVA is a combination of ANOVA and uh, regression analysis, should be fairly similar across groups, or as you can read it here, the homogeneity of regression slopes. Now we are reaching the end of uh, the video. Let me summarize this video. ANOVA or also ANCOVA allows mean comparisons of multiple groups. ANCOVA, in contrast to ANOVA, can consider covariates, yeah, which can be very useful to eliminate certain biases. And third, unfortunately, ANOVA or ANCOVA can only consider one outcome variable. If you would like to simultaneously compare multiple outcome variables, uh, MANOVA or MANCOVA would be more appropriate. And there's another video about that. With that, I would like to close this video and like to say thank you. Bye bye.